So Afghanistan, unfortunately, unfortunately, is not a common law country. It's a civil law country. So other than their internal political pro problem, administrative problem, they have legal problem. Legal problem is they don't have virtually any established system, although they claim to be a civil law system. It's not a civil law fully. So what I did in my manual and in my, also, uh, in, in my reports also, that these are your problems. It doesn't matter you belong to civil law system, you want to be a civil law system or Islamic system, but your legislation has to be very uh, of high quality so that people can understand what the parliament is legislating. You've highlighted that Gibraltar doesn't have a legislative drafting manual. Is this something you'd like to see introduced? With Gibraltar lawyers, the drafters, we feel that we should have a proper legislative drafting manual in Gibraltar. My friend uh, Paul Paralta is doing that. Uh, I don't know how far it's been done, but we feel that it is necessary. It's not only for Gibraltar. Uh, most uh, uh, countries uh, like ours uh, should have a legislative drafting manual. So one is in the works, it's being worked on at the moment? Yeah, it's being, uh, uh, he's been working on that. Was there also an opportunity for cultural exchange, a greater understanding between Gibraltar and Afghanistan? That is, that is true, it's, it's a because uh, you know the Afghanistan situation, it's a, it's a such a country, when the offer came to me, my family was totally against that, going there, because the life risk, security risk. So I thought, no, it's a life risk, it's, it's a security risk, uh, it's okay, everything okay, because I want to go only to know that the point you are trying to make it. The cultural things, the difference between uh, Gibraltar, Europe, and other part of the world, what actually is the country going through? So unfortunately, Although I have been there, but I couldn't uh, go outside to talk to local people because uh, I went through the UN security system. Uh, so I had to stay with them in the uh, armored uh, vehicle. I had to travel. I was not allowed to go out. Just I spoke to uh, the local people who work. They work in the uh, United Nations. I found it, it, it's very interesting. It was not surprising, very interesting that almost every people I spoke they know about Gibraltar. Although Gibraltar is a small place, you know how they know? It's a Jabal Tariq. Oh, you are from Jabal Tariq. They, they know it as a Jabal Tariq. So they have a highly respect and regards. Everyone knows about Jabal Tariq. That was, that was very interesting, really.